Say you are an Irishman, a prisoner. Why should you be loyal to the British dogs who want to take you to Lisbon to shoot you? Jesus, you took the words out of my mouth. I can help you. Give me the box. Right. Fine. But what do I get? You will be rich. And if I don't, you will be dead. Mm. Well, you're having the best of the argument so far. Who are you? What are you doing here? I'm George Parker, travelling with my wife, Agatha, and my niece, Louisa. We're Methodist missionaries. Any more of us lot around? Tell me, Major, why was the Colonel trying to draw you away from the canyon? Draw me away? Yes, I speak quite good French. I heard him tell his men to set fire to the village to draw you away from the canyon. That chest. You've lost that chest, Major. I will give you 100 guineas in gold and safe passage to America. America? That'd be nice. But you see, the King of England owes me last month's wages. And there's no way I could rest easy in America knowing that that bastard owed me a shilling. You would die for a shilling. That's what I signed on to do. You will have to do it then. It's a grand day for it. La un mousquet, une cartouche. Un de vous va mourir. L'autre gagnera cette course. Chapter and verse, Rifleman Harper. Well, sir, I met this old fella. He was dressed like an undertaker, sir. And there were two other fellas with him, and they asked me to hand over that old box. So? We had a bit of a barney, sir. Rifleman Harper. You have powder burns on your face. These are the telltale signs of a half-loaded rifle. A common mistake. Understandable among raw recruits who sometimes discharge the ramrod in the heat of battle. But unforgivable in a chosen man. It's called going off at half-cock, Harper. Yes, sir. 
Sorry, sir. Fall in, Rifleman Harper. Yes, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Wait. Do you not wish your officer to give you some high honors? That's what he did. He taught me to fall in. Lieutenant Sharp, I think it better if you now take command. Get down! That fellow's the dead spit of you, Major. Something you want to tell me? What are your orders? Open that chest and tell me what's going on. I'm sorry. Not until we reach Torre Castro. My orders are to meet someone at Casa Antigua. But if they are not here? Your fellow countrymen need your protection to Torre Castro. Naturally. As officer commanding, I travel by coach. Just like a proper officer. transpired that my poor uncle had left a small legacy for the purpose of spreading the message of Methodism to the Papists. Well, Ireland was well spread, so it had to be Spain. So, here we are, Mrs. Parker and I sowing the seed. I didn't know a Methodist smoked. Oh, it's for my lungs. Ich <laughs> Luft. <laughs> <laughs> 